Sweden and other Nordic countries are taking a tougher stance on asylum seekers with plans to deport tens of thousands who are not found to be refugees. The decision comes in response to Europe's migrant crisis. Sweden says up to 80,000 migrants should leave voluntarily or be forced to go. The latest tragedy in waters off Greece shows how many migrants are still heading to Europe. This week, Italian authorities have rescued around 400 people whose boats capsized. These were the lucky ones. Another 18 drowned yesterday when their boat sank. Even in winter, 1,500 people a day are making the perilous journey. The numbers are putting so much strain on EU nations, several now plan to deport tens of thousands. Those people who doesn't get their asylum approved uh, should return to the country of origin. Sweden has struggled to deal with the 163,000 asylum seekers who arrived last year and now says as many as 80,000 who are not refugees will be deported if they don't go voluntarily. We have left our country to come to Europe, a country of human rights, women's rights, children's rights. This decision from the Swedish government does not help us. Public opinion among many Swedes has turned against migrants, not helped by a recent riot at one refugee hostel where staff had to lock themselves into a room. It's very hard. It's no fun to live here anymore. I enjoy my flat, but I don't enjoy my neighbours. Finland too plans to deport 20,000 migrants and Norway wants to send 5,000 back to Russia, their last stop. It's outraged pro-refugee groups. European leaders have met this week to discuss the migrant crisis, with many supporting calls to suspend Europe's open borders policy for at least two years. Anne Barker, ABC News.